my dear students on the previous term we have discussed the meaning of physics their scope and the branches of physics we have seen that the classical physics is sub classified into different parts that is class that is mechanics light heat and we are confined to the study of the mechanics the mechanics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of uh, body in motion now describing motion we have already studied that the an object is said to be in the state of rest if it does not change its position with time with respect to its surroundings and if it is change if it if it is changing its position with time and does not remain stationary with respect to its surrounding it is said to be in motion so uh, right from the beginning our our uh, the human being is very much interested to know about the uh, motion so now uh, you should know that the rest and motion are relative term the same body may be in a state of rest or in a state of motion at the same time for example for a passenger sitting in a moving bus the road side trees and poles appears to be in motion a passenger on the road side waiting for a bus sees the coming bus and passengers sitting in it as moving but a passenger inside the bus sees his fellow passenger to be at rest the the another example we can see very interesting example suppose a robot a, ro a robot enters a train moving at a high speed with respect to the ground brings out his pistol and says don't move stand still the passengers stand still the passengers are at rest with respect to the robber but are moving with the respect to the rail track so it is quite obvious that the same body may be at rest and in motion simultaneously or we can say that the rest and motion are relative term remember the motion is a combined property of object under study and the observer there is no meaning of rest or motion without the observer and in other words you can say that nothing is in absolute rest or in absolute motion so uh, now the motion is of three types the first is translatory or rectilinear motion another is rotatory or circular motion the third is oscillatory or vibratory motion the translatory motion is also known as the rectilinear motion or the motion that moves in a straight line for example a man is cycling in a straight road that is a motion in a, a rectilinear type of motion car running and this rectilinear motion or translatory motion is of two type uniform motion or you can call it as the constant speed non uniform motion or variable motion you can say now the, the second one is rotatory or circular motion or rotational means rotational motion means if the body moves about the fixed point uh, rotates about the fixed point then that motion is known as rotatory motion this rotatory motion is of two types periodic motion and oscillatory motion periodic motion means if a body moves a uh, moves around a body and completes its motion after a fixed interval time of time that is known as periodic motion and the oscillatory motion means a body moves to and fro or here and there about a fixed point is known as oscillatory motion the motion of the bob of the pendulum the motion of the clockwork is known as the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion thank you you will discuss later on